Okay, I was asked to uh, take a couple pictures of how I was mounting a DRO to the uh, tailstock on the 7X lathe, but I uh, figured I'd make this short, uh, very quick video uh, so I can explain it a little bit better. First off, what I started with was this uh, cheap uh, digital caliper. Found it on eBay. I think they were like three for $12. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous price. The resolution on them, <coughs> excuse me, is to uh, hundreds, not thousands, but that's plenty fine for drilling. Reason I found these, I was looking something a little softer than the stainless steel that even a cheap Harbor Freight ones are made with. Uh, I basically run a couple of drill bits trying to drill through uh, one of them to, uh, to mount on here. So what I did was take this, uh, uh, one other comment about them, uh, the three for, it was either like 10 or $12. One of them turned out to be no good, uh, throwed in the trash can after I took the battery off. This one I keep over on my archery bench just for relative. I don't even have a battery in it. Uh, it's just to measure out of space, lock it down, and duplicate that space on the bottom cam or whatever I happen to be doing. But what I did was take one of them. Uh, cut the points off of it, uh, top and bottom, uh, and cut the length to what would fit fit on there and not get in the way of the handle. Now, on the quill itself, these holes in the top of the tailstock right here are from a previous attempt that did not work out. Uh, it's simply I had the uh, DRO up here and it was always in the way. It, uh, no matter what I did, it seemed like every time I reached over to lock it, I was hitting it. It was just in the way. And what I did with that, the screw going in here, I took that out, drilled and tapped the end of that screw uh, to make the eject a little bit longer. Because adding something on to the end of the quill, of course, you can't pull it in as far as you needed to be able to. Uh, to eject whatever you had in the tailstock. Well, that worked for a little while until the screw in there backed out and I tried every kind of thread lock uh, that I could find. And when you were pulling back on there, that was putting pressure on that screw to take it out. If I tapped it left-hand thread, it might make a difference, but uh, it was just in, just backed out and caused a royal pain. The last time it backed out on me, it got wedged in there. And I literally spent a couple of hours trying to get, before I finally got it all out without destroying the quill and the, uh, and the lead screw or the screw in there. So to overcome that, I just took the tailstock apart, set the tailstock up in the mill, and milled off the end down here enough uh, so that I still got still have plenty of room to eject whatever I may have in there at the time. And of course the purpose of this is to attach the, uh, the DRO2. Now to get that mounted on there, something that would stay, zip ties of course don't work, uh, uh, they just would not prevent sliding. I milled out this little bracket, very, very simple. Uh, all I did was mill it deep enough so that, that was a snug fit in there and give a stop on it. I think for this particular DRO, it came out to about 150 thousandths. It's what was necessary to mill that down so that, that fit in there. Then this just simply drilled and tapped a couple number six screws. Of course, the camera's in the way right now, but, all right. Countersunk, so it got a nice little flush mount on there. 
These screws, of course, you have to be very careful not to get them deep enough in there to, to mess with the quill as, as it's retracted in. So then this will snap in there. Pull it out just enough. Screw on there and a spacer. Now, to keep this in place in there is simply a little L bracket. Again, just milled out with a slot on there. And all it is is a, is a friction. This one on the top is a number, is an 832. Um, just simply because that's what I had. A six would have worked fine in there. Just make sure this is it's tied up against your bracket. You hold the L bracket in tight. And then on and off, zero. And it holds in position fine. So far this has been the best uh, resolution that I've uh, been able to, to find for mounting a quill, mounting a caliper for a DRO on the tailstock. This has worked for several months now, not had any problems at all with it, uh, whereas the mounting on the top or the trying to hang off the side, uh, even with uh, trying double sided sticky tape, just simply wouldn't work after a period of time, all getting on it and uh, cutting oil, whatever, it just the sticky tape wouldn't hold either. But the little plastic is much easier to grind and to form than the uh, stainless steel calipers. Hope this helps.